What's up, YouTube? It's in the guts back with one more review from Hasbro's Wave 4 of Marvel Legends, the Hitmonkey series. This here is the, the mini Build-A-Figure Hitmonkey. Um, when this was first announced, I was kind of bummed out because I really like having nice, large Build-A-Figures. But I understand why they made the Hitmonkey Build-A-Figure. It gave them some extra money with this wave to be able to make a couple new uh, bucks that look really nice. There's a new larger male buck and a, a nice, large uh, female buck also that they did in this wave. Um, and getting this figure in hand, I actually really, really like him. He's a really unique figure. He's very cool, and he's got a, a lot of nice articulation on him, too. Um, so getting into Hitmonkey here, he does have a really cool sculpt on his face. You can see his tongue sculpted inside the mouth there with the uh, yellowish teeth, which is nice and monkey-like. The glasses are pretty funny, too. I like that they didn't try to do, like, removable glasses or anything like that because they would look huge and awkward. They do look nice here. There is... I'm going to get rid of this box here that I had him standing on. There is some really nice paint detailing in the hair there. Um, there is like a gray sculpted plastic with, with a nice white dry brushing on it to bring out the detail. It looks really cool. He's got a really nice sculpt here and uh, the body here. Some nice wrinkles from the shirt that look really cool. A lot of cool wrinkles in the uh, pants. Give it a nice realistic look. I like that he's got gloves on his feet. Um, like human hand gloves on his feet that are nice and glossy. And then he's got them again on his actual hands. Another cool thing is that they didn't skimp out at all on accessories. Um... He's got four guns, actually. He has two of this gun here. I don't know guns, so I'm not going to guess a name. I don't even know what I would guess. But he's got two of this gun here also. Just a cool gun. It's got a lot of nice, cool sculpted detail in it. Let's get into articulation here on Hitmonkey, which is why he's such a great figure um, beyond his awesome sculpt. But he's got a ball jointed head, so you go left and right. Um, a lot of down movement, not much back movement. A lot of it's because of this uh, collar here on his jacket. But it is on that same ball disc, which is nice. A lot of movement there. He does have a nice, tight, ball jointed shoulder. It's really hard to pop the arms in at first when you get him, but once you get him in there, they're in there nice and tight. He doesn't have a bicep swivel. But he does have the Hasbro elbow, the Hasbro elbow, if you will. <laughs> uh, it has a nice range of motion here, uh, back and forth, and it has the swivel in it too. He does have wrists that have a swivel, and there's a nice back and forth motion in there. Um, if you can see here, get a better angle. He's got a waist swivel, no ab articulation, but that's nice. You know, it's cool. You don't need it. And it has a nice sculpt there to make up for it. So just the waist swivel. And then it has, uh, similar to a lot of the Marvel Universe figures nowadays, there's like a ball joint in there with the leg just popped onto it. But it, it gives it a nice big range of motion there too. There is, oh, see it just popped off. It happens a lot, but it pops right back on. And it is pretty tight. Uh, there's the thigh swivel. He's got a single jointed knee that actually has a lot of motion in it. And then his ankle's really cool. It reminds me a lot of um, Reveltech figures, but it's got a ball joint on there so you can swivel it and move it back and forth and you can rotate it at the ankle too. Um, so you can get that foot in pretty much any position you would want it in. So yeah, that's about it for Hip Monkey. He's a great figure. I recommend buying everyone to get the hip, the hip monkey figure. He's awesome. I love him way more than I thought I would. He's really cool. He's definitely an interesting character. He'll look cool sitting on your shelf. But that's about all I have to say for him. This is Them That Gots saying bye for now. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.